All right, welcome back to the channel. Last year we got a late start building of the new Barnuminium and moving all our stuff out to the new home. Uh, so we really didn't get anything growing till May. And by the time we did, we needed shade for it. And so we built this little shade house out of uh, an old RV awning and um, some shade cloth material, like 50% shade cloth. And um, it did a good job of keeping the plants from getting roasted. So we decided that we would rejuvenate it for this growing season and plant it with more of these cattle feed tubs that we acquired and use those for uh, raised bed gardens. So we'll be planting peppers and tomatoes and some squash, some pumpkin and a whole bunch of other stuff. We got a lot of these seeds started in January this year since we were so, so determined to get out ahead of everything like we weren't last year. So we'll see how this holds up. This was a, a nice Sunday afternoon project that we were able to use the Branson uh, 5524 and it did a great job of taking all this dirt and just spreading it, mostly sand. Uh, leveling out the pad so we can put uh, our planters and stuff in there, keep them level, uh, especially the hydroponics. We're going to do some cracky hydroponic tomatoes in there, see how that works out. That would be a new first doing uh, hydroponics outdoors, but it should be interesting to see what happens. The uh, big pile of dirt that we're using is left over from the foundation prep that we did for before the, the builder came out to build the house, and we dug out about three feet deep and filled it with uh, clay and select fill material just to kind of beef up the, the foundation and uh, that along with the foundation engineering and soil testing that was done hopefully we will not have any problems oh that's right hey we'd like to thank you for subscribing if you already have and if not why don't you uh, hit that like button and subscribe uh, we'd really appreciate the help uh, as we're trying to build this little uh, farm channel here there's Glenna helping out by picking up uh, little sticks and stuff and telling me what spots need more dirt. And coming back in from the other end. Boy, the tractor makes it a lot easier than having to do that with a shovel. Oh my goodness. That's one thing you learn out here quickly. Hydraulics uh, make you lazy. Uh, or uh, more efficient, actually. <laughs> She's just directing me what's level and what's low and kind of seeding that out there. Anyway, it's worked out pretty good and we were able to get the sand uh, leveled up in there where we could come back with a weed fabric and then get something going where we can have a, a nice area that we can either use for trellising, uh, hanging tomatoes and peppers by string from the top of the frame. We can add or subtract weed cloth from it pretty easily during the year if we need more sun or less sun. It worked out pretty good and uh, got it work cleared out where I was able to come from both ends. Did have to drop the uh, the rops there just to make sure I didn't knock the top of the the grow house off but for basically cobbling it together from pieces of junk we had sitting around it, it's held up pretty well for the last year we tried hanging a cow paddle on the side of it for growing uh, beans and that was pretty, pretty successful we'll probably do that again and see how that works but anyway the idea here is to have an easy to grow area uh, where we can control the water and the sun the weather and have it near the home so we can keep an eye on it every day and it's, that's the key to gardening is that I'm getting the weed fabric laid out here and apparently there's a, a woodpecker going to work nearby which uh, is always fun to hear out here you never know what you're going to see that's what it looked like when we got the tarp down and here I'm just kind of going through the buckets figuring out which ones have holes which ones don't have holes because the ones without holes we're going to use for the cracky hydroponics and you can see here let us the pH testing get the pH right and then she'll come back right there and mix it up and she'll come back with the uh, nutrients for those buckets and you can see we just took those are just two by two sheets of uh, half inch plywood that we uh, weather sealed and cut a five and three quarter inch hole in and used a six inch uh, net cup to put the tomato plant in and those are our January tomato plants that we were getting out early in March for this year so hey, appreciate you watching the video. Uh, take a moment if you would, hit that uh, 
like, thumbs up, and subscribe if you'd like to hear more from uh, us out here at Terre Hill Farm.